You are watching the Movicon HMI Editor Basics self-guided video tutorial series. In this video, we'll go over some details of the software pertaining to project and file management. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. For this video, I'm assuming you have already completed the previous videos in this series. There is no mini lab for this section. Instead, I'd like to invite you to follow along with me. And let's look at your project. If you would go to the Project Explorer and click on the name of the project at the top level of the tree, then look over to the Properties window, and let's uh, discuss some of the useful properties that we have here. A real basic one here is called the Project Path, and all you need to do is just double-click on Project Path, and this will open Windows Explorer at the exact location of your project. These are all of the project files and folders associated with your project. The file that you can launch is this one here with the black icon. It's a Movicon 11 document file type. Also notice there is a zip file. All the files and folders of the entire project are compressed into one zip project. You can see at this time it's very small. And let me clarify it back here in Movicon. It's not the zipped project checkbox, obviously, that creates that file since it's already created. The checkbox that creates the zipped backup is called save backup. Zipped project will compress each of the files in this project path, and you'd see a smaller file size for each of these project files here. For the best response, we recommend that you do not check zipped project. Leave that unchecked, uh, but you do want the Save Backup checkbox. The backup will be refreshed every time you make a change and then either save all or start the project. If I were to right now go to Save All without making a change, you can see that the date modified has not been affected, but if I were to make even an ever so slight change, like moving a text box by one amount, the project is now not saved, that's what the asterisk means. And if I go to File, Save All, the zipped project has changed the uh, date modified. So now while Save Backup does create a zip of the entire project and refreshes it, you can optionally create a new zip project backup every time you save all in the same way as before. Rather than refreshing the old backup, you would leave the old backup file there and continuously create more and more and more zip backups in this folder. So this time I'll go to the project properties and check increase project build number, apply that, and now I'll make another change here to the project and do a file save all. And now back here in the project, you see I have training project 01 underscore two, and it's left the old project there. So I could go back to the old version whenever I wanted to by unzipping this, opening it. So I would recommend that you do, at least for this training class, uh, check this box, increase project build number. That way you can go back to an older version of your project if you ever need to. Here's a summary slide of what I just said. The zipped project option just compresses the project files. It does not create a zip file. Save Backup creates the zip file, which will be updated after Save All, after a change. And by the way, you can also just start the project in the runtime simulation. That's the same as a Save All. And then Increase Project Build Number creates a new zip file every time you save. And as you saw, it will append a number to the file name. We recommend that you turn that on. So what if you are starting with one project and you want to save it as a new project, maybe change the name, or you want to build on an old project to create a new version, maybe you have some milestone and you don't want to completely overwrite what you've achieved previously. Normally that's what you use Save As to accomplish. However, while File New creates a new project folder when you start a brand new project, Save As does not create a new project folder. So if you want to contain that project separately, it's generally a good idea to uh, create a new folder. Maybe you had version 1 
operating in one project folder. Well, if you're going to create version two of the project, back up one level and create a new folder first manually and then save as inside that folder. If you don't do this, then all of your projects will be combined in the same folder, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it could be confusing. Let me demonstrate that. Maybe I want to save this project as something new. I want to go to File, Save As, and it's grayed out because you do have to be selected here on the Project Explorer tree. And we'll do File, Save As. So I'm going to go up one folder to the MoveAcon Projects folder I'm working in, create a new folder. I'll call it Project Management. Go in here and then change the name to Project Management. Save. Okay, now I've renamed the project. I can look at the project path, and this is the entire project again. So I don't have that zip file anymore because I have not done a save all yet with this project itself. Knowing these things now, there's a couple options when you have to take care of revision control. One option would be to just keep working in the same project folder, and when you reach a milestone or a revision, you could just rename that zip file. However, keep in mind the unzipped project will not have that name renamed. It'll have the original name. And option two would be to save as in a new folder like you saw me just demonstrate now. If you do want to use a zip backup, keep in mind that MoveCon 11.6 cannot open a zipped project. You'll have to unzip the folder in Windows and then launch the project file. I'll demonstrate that here real quick. I could go to File, Open. Here I am in my MoveCon projects. And let's say I want to take that zipped project from the training project 01. Because I went through the MoveCon file open menu, it's not going to show me the zip file, but I can see it with the all files filter here. Here I see my zip backups. And I could just right click, extract. Probably want to extract it to a folder. Okay, that's extracted now. It's a folder, a project folder within the project folder. So just open this and then uh, go back to the MoveCon file, training project 01, and open that. And that's one way to open another project without leaving MoveCon. MoveCon does support just launching the project file straight from Windows Explorer here also. So now I've opened it that way. Now if you've been watching closely, you may have noticed that I have not taken the time to close the existing project. So right now, I have three projects open at the same time. This can be really useful to have multiple projects open at once. You can swap screens and variables and other components between the projects, but you do have to keep track of which project is the active project, meaning if I'm going to upload a project, which of these three projects is it going to use? Or if I'm going to hit the Start button here, and start the project, which of these three will it use? Well, it's pretty easy to tell that's the one that's bold, and that's called the active project. You can right click and set one of the other projects to be the active project. Just use right click, set as active project. We recommend that if you ever do open more than one project at the same time, like say that you want to uh, take a variable from one project, I'll show that real quick, go to the real time database, and I wanted, uh, let's say, a group of variables. I can copy those and then go to the target project here. There, I will erase all the variables, but now I could paste the variables from the other project into here. And you can see that could be very useful to paste variables and screens from one project into another. But we'd recommend that you finish that activity as soon as possible and then close the projects that you don't plan on using. You just right click close and it's a lot less confusing to have just one project open at a time. So I hope that helps you with your project management. Thank you for watching this video and please go to www.yaskawa.com HMI for more information on Yaskawa's HMI products and MoveCon HMI Editor.